Box fighting is one of, if not, the most important skill to master if you want to hang with the pros. If you play scrims, you're going to find yourself sitting in a box for the majority of the game. Chances are, most of your interactions with other players in the lobby will be either in your box or your opponents. So yeah, getting comfortable and mastering box fights is absolutely necessary to your success in competitive Fortnite. This entire fighting strategy might fly under the radar to most spectators and non-pro players since the pros make box fighting seem so darn easy. Yeah, I use the word darn. It's like, they're not even trying. Behind every move, every edit, every outplay is a decision and forethought. This is how pro players edge out their competition, guys, by staying unpredictable and controlling their adversaries. Once we develop these skills, all right, it's a game changer. You're gonna find yourself gravitating naturally to just much better positions, not to mention less 50-50s. What's going on, guys? This is your guy, yeah, your friend, Hey, the one and only Keith Allen. And in this video, hey, we're gonna be going over some of the most essential box fighting techniques that you might be overlooking. Hey, I want you to connect with me right now on my Instagram. Hey, uh, follow me, connect with me. I would love to talk to you guys. We got so much going on and I wanna encourage you to be the best that you can be. Know that the sky is not even the limit. You can go further than the sky and nothing can get in your way, guys. These tips today are generally easy to pick up, but they're gonna take some time tinkering with to master, all right? It's not gonna happen overnight. If you can get to a point where these tactics become second nature to you, oh my goodness, schooling the competition, it's gonna be a breeze. This video also builds off one of the more, you know, recent videos we did where we went over some of the best building fighting strategies. Only this time, instead of build fights, the topic, ladies and gentlemen, for today is box fights. If you've been living under a rock for the past week and for some reason you haven't seen that video yet, it's okay, we're not mad at you. I just highly suggest watching it once this video ends. Link, as always, will be in the description down below. Oh yeah, also, before we get right into the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that ProGuys is offering many in-depth courses similar to this video at ProGuys.com. So by purchasing the Instapro Pass, you're going to get access to an entire library of content tailored to elevate your gameplay. You don't want to miss out on this opportunity, folks, as the Instapro Pass comes with up to five live coaching sessions with real Fortnite pros. Link is at the top of the description. All right, well, let's get into the video. First and foremost, we need to talk about control. Everybody say control. Yeah. So having control of the fight and limiting the options that your opponents can take to counter your shots is very important, man. Super important. Probably one of the most important pieces to all box fights. I said the word important like five times. That's how important it is. The main purpose for this is to put your opponent in a really uncomfortable position. People are just more likely to fumble their edits, miss their shots, and generally, you know, just choke moves that should be easy. This is why we're gonna talk about stair placements. Stair placements, specifically stairs placed in your opponent's boxes are very useful. As mentioned earlier, you really restrict your opponent's moves when you get a stair in their box. Think about it, they only have half of the box to maneuver when you can just confine them to the other half of their box. Hey guys, check this out. Let's take a peek at Booga playing some casual solo arena so you guys can just see this for yourself. After Booga goes for the classic wall grab, instead of just making a predictable edit and going for the shot, which could have easily backfired, he does something different. Instead of just instantly going for the kill, he places a stair inside of his opponent's box to get further control of the fight, you see? Sure, he had a lot of control as it stood right when he took the wall piece, but pros just don't think like that. Pros put their opponents in the most exploitable position before taking a shot. Sorry kids, if you don't know what the word exploitable means, uh, just Google it. In this case, Buka's stair place really gave his opponents no options, no maneuverability. The only really viable play for his opponent is going back to the lobby. Once Buka gets the wall and a stair, it's game over. A reverse stair edit later and he's won the fight with seemingly no effort. It's the extra step that people take during box fights is what makes their odds in their favor. In Buga's case, it was just using the stair to further exploit, there's that word again, the unlucky kid that was matched against him. Additionally, Buga rotates the stair to give himself a right hand peek, which is the next point that we're gonna be diving into right now. Right hand peeks, guys, are crucial to giving yourself the first shot in any close quarter combat situation. If you aren't aware of what a right hand peek is, okay, I'm gonna break it down to you right now. If you take a look at the Fortnite player model, all right, the character on your screen is in a third person perspective, okay? Because of this, your character is located on the left-hand side of your screen, meaning the majority of your view is over the right shoulder. This is why if you're standing on the right side of a wall, you have great visibility past the wall. Whereas if you stand on the left side of a wall, you couldn't. This is why it is so important and pivotal to just always give yourself this right-hand peek. 
If you don't, you're going to find opponents exploiting your flaws and always getting the first shot. You don't want that. To combat this, you want to always keep your character model on the left-hand side and make edits that complement the playstyle. The young prodigy, Mongro, one of my favorite pros, does a great job of showing us how to right-hand peek. Since he's a seasoned Fortnite pro, right-hand peeks just come naturally to this guy, but for the rest of us, you know, regular people, all right, we don't have to be jealous. We can admire them, though. It's just worth learning as much as we can from this beast. As you can see, his trio has the higher positioning against the trio that are looking to engage. The other trio is holding their position in their boxes, but Mongrel has a plan. He uses the right hand peek, yeah, to spam his now buff minigun with minimum risk. It's not like someone will peek Mongrel when he's exposing himself minimally. Not to mention, the guy is spraying many bullets per second at the only people who could counter fire. This angle allows Mongrel to tag one of the trio down to white health and safely distracts the entire trio. This gives Benzie Fishy and Mitro the opportunity to find cross angles and sweep the competition. Wow. It's as easy as that, and it started with solid fundamentals. Learn your right-hand peaks. Yes, sir. So, once you've mastered the art of right-hand peaks, we can safely begin talking about more aggressive box fighting strategies. You guys ready? Have you ever aggressively box fought someone just to get edited on while pickaxing? Annoying, yeah. You might be playing a bit too fast if that's the case, and there's a lot that you can do to prevent it from happening again, all right? It is annoying, so listen up. Let's talk about the easiest way to aggressively box fight, working top down. Working your way to find angles in your opponent starting up top where their cone and floor pieces are is one of the simplest ways to consistently force engagements, which is effectively what you want. Given the fact that the new turbo build changes makes taking walls much easier, you'll be able to use this strategy with ease. Ping is not an issue anymore when it comes to taking walls. Given that every wall replaces effectively a coin flip now, according to Epic's most recent blog post regarding turbo building. Guys, my friends, you need to take advantage of these new changes and adapt to the meta. Anyways, let's just make sure you get this down, all right? Get on the level above your opponent's box and start chopping their tops off. Keep going for the wall replace until you get it. If you are met with resistance, which is gonna happen, say if someone wants to edit their tops or sides, simply back up a bit and give yourself the advantageous right-hand peak. No need to put yourself in a bad spot and overcommit to a subpar angle. Another strategy you could employ is what I like to call the surrogate box. Essentially, creating a new box adjacent to the box you are trying to attack and going for a wall replace on the only wall that borders both boxes. This is super effective because since all of your sides are covered, your opponent won't be able to make an edit, throw a ramp over you, or even go for the trap kill. So, the only thing they can really do to counter is edit the windows to take shots, but as long as you're pulling out your shotgun after every swing, it'll be extremely hard for them to get any uncontested damage. You're gonna wanna try and be somewhat fast though, as after a few tries, your opponent's gonna try and make a new box or just go for a full on 50-50. Keep in mind that your opponent is always looking to find a right hand peek against you, so stay towards the right side of your builds to deny that opportunity. Locking down these strategic box fighting techniques come with a bit of time, all right? It's not gonna happen overnight. This is because the new meta changes regarding turbo building forces people to make aggressive edits to counter your aggression. Learning to use their edits to your advantage, that's gonna come with time and extensive pattern recognition. To give you an example, let's just put this tactic together with our first topic, do you guys remember? Stair placements. All right, so say someone makes an aggressive edit on their own roof to take shots. Instead of just 15 50 them, why not just place a stair in their box? This puts them in a really awkward spot and it denies their ability to reset the stair and floor edits. You are in control, not them. You also certainly are gonna be in some situations where you just can't build your way out of your opponent's aggression. Has that ever happened to you? It's like you're building and building and building and nothing's working. In these spots of close quarters combat, playing mind games against your opponent becomes even more important. If your opponent owns a wall directly against you, they will most likely wait for the most optimal time to make an edit on you. Keep this in mind though, all right? If they make an edit, there is a delay between the edit confirmation and when they can take their first shotgun shot. Use this to your advantage and always take the first shot when someone makes an edit on you, all right? This works both ways when someone is inside your box with control of the map or the surrounding walls. You'll have an advantage in these scenarios, so make sure to land some big damage or else you're gonna get punished. Also, in certain situations, you can't just bait out a hasty edit from your opponent by fake sweeping your pickaxe and instantly bring your shotgun out. This will make your opponents always believe that they're gonna get a free shot on you, but in reality, that's another thing. You're always gonna land the opening damage. You see, box fighting is just much more complex than just the eye lets on. Combining multiple strategies and adapting them to different scenarios is what really sets pro players apart from the rest of us. 
Simply working top down wouldn't be, you know, for every situation, especially for those that include a similarly aggressive opponent. But if you are aware of your opponent's options, similar to all the options you could take in a fight, you're going to be ready to react to every scenario. So to summarize this video into a blanket statement, okay, work on controlling the situation when box fighting. Remember that. Gaining control of the stare in your opponent's box, really important. Knowing the right angles to hold. And safely working top down. Forcing engagements are all crucial skills to master. Not only that, but when someone else puts you in one of these aforementioned exploitable positions, there's that word exploitable again, look it up if you haven't already. Staying calm and landing some big damage when it counts will surely increase your odds of staying alive. Think about all of your alternatives before making a move because you're going to almost always have multiple options. The only time that you won't have multiple options in a fight is if someone literally barrels you into a box and just forces a shootout. Any situation that isn't that means that you have made the active decision to get there. The goal for this video, guys, is just to open up your mind to these decisions that you are making and how they might be wrong. Your first instinct often is usually the wrong move because your opponents are trying to predict those exact instincts. If we can just all start building up this concept that there are multiple strategies that we can take in any fight or situation, then it really just comes down to choosing the best one. We talked about common box fighting examples and how to counter them, right? But there are still plenty of situations that you're going to just need to develop on your own. So hop on the battle bus and get grinding. Anyways, guys, this is your guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen, man. I had a good time with you today. Hey, connect with me on my Instagram as soon as you get the chance, man. I want to make sure you guys do things um, in Fortnite that you haven't been able to do before, all right? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I would really appreciate if you left a like on it. We want to go deeper into analyzing professional play and strategies that the biggest pros are using today, but it takes a lot of work. If this is what you want, then let us know in the comments, and we're going to make sure to keep on bringing them. Thank <laughs> you.